We can show you their statements. I don't care. You don't care? Thanks to this woman, he's got an airtight alibi that leaves you as the only suspect. Maggie, he even denies you two were having an affair. He said you made it up. I know, Steve. He loves me, not her. That's enough, Maggie. Come on, we're leaving. Miss Connor, you're only 17 years old. Do you really want to spend the rest of your life in jail for Steve Martell? First, you have to convict her. Is that the advice you're giving her? Watch me. Maggie, for God's sake, tell them what they want to hear. Leave me alone. You don't know Steve. You don't know him at all. He'll prove you're wrong. You'll see. He loves me. What is the matter with this girl? She's obviously in love, desperately in love. As much as she is in denial. Can you blame her? Every aspect of her life was controlled by her mother, almost to the point of cruelty. Martel was her lifeline to the outside world. Not to mention sleeping with him was a wonderful way of saying Happy Mother's Day. She had every wrong reason for getting involved with him. Is it possible she'd kill her mother over him? I don't think so, but she might lie to protect him. She has a lot invested. She won't give up on him easily. How do we get her to face the truth? Nothing works like reality. If she thinks her white knight is going to come through for her, wait till she sees him under oath. And that means you intend to put her on trial for murder? Well, Adam, we know she was there. At a minimum, she's an accomplice. You're talking about cutting a deal with someone you believe is a perjurer. We don't know for a fact Martel's lying. Don't bother inviting me to your disbarment party. This tactic of yours has a wonderful chance of blowing up in your face. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Maggie never went out on dates. Laura was worried that she'd, you know, get mixed up with the wrong crowd. I guess that's why she got uh, fixated on me. I was there. How did she express her fixation? She gave me gifts. She left notes in my clothes. It was embarrassing. Um, I had to set her straight. That's why you saw her that night? To straighten her out? Yes. Is that all that happened between the two of you? Mr. Martell? Your Honor, permission to treat as a hostile witness. Go ahead. Mr. Martell, did you make love with Maggie Connor that evening? No. I just sent her home in a cab. Then what did you do? I had dinner with a friend, Christine Whitburn. In a prior sworn statement, you said that Mrs. Whitburn is a person that you care about very much. Do you care about her? more than Maggie Connor. Yes. Now, when you got home later that night, you found your wife dead. Laura was lying on the bathroom floor. Where was Maggie? Maggie was sitting on our bed crying. She told you she killed your wife, isn't that right? Maggie, I'm sorry. I tried. Mr. Martell, you will direct your answers to the court. Maggie said that Laura and her were arguing. She said that she pushed Laura. In your statement, you said that she threatened to implicate you unless you agreed to help her dispose of the body. Is that right? Yes. Is that the only reason that you helped her, because you were afraid of her? Yes. Maybe I felt sorry for her. Thank you. No more questions. Mr. Wheeler? If it pleases the court, we request a short recess. Granted, court will take a 30-minute recess. It isn't at all like he said. I didn't imagine things. That night, we did go to bed. 
it was only our third time. <laughs> he said that he loved me. And that he would always be there for me. When I got home, mom busted me. I was so tired of her always riding me. I just wanted to rub it in her face. Steve was the one thing that I had that she couldn't take away. As soon as I said it, I wanted to take it back. Steve came home and mom let him have it. She wanted him out of the house. And I said that I would go with him. She went crazy. She, she screamed that she would leave him with nothing. She started hitting him. And he punched her and he threw her. And she hit her head and I saw all of this blood. And Steve told me to stop screaming. He said that the cops would say that we both did it. I was in love with him. I did what he told me. We cleaned up the blood. And Steve took mom away. Steve Martell preyed on her, Jack. Even borrowed money from her to pay for his lawyer. This girl is not a killer. Give me a good reason to believe her. What do you want? 